Trump's official portrait just released and everyone spots one major difference from Obama's. Although President Donald Trump has been in office for about 10 months, his official portrait has just been released. It will hang in the People's House from this day forward, right next to his predecessors, Barack Obama. Of course, Obama has two portraits on the walls, one for each term he served as commander-in-chief, but there's one glaring difference in Trump's photo as compared to Obama's. The presidential portrait is typically captured, framed, and hung in over 7,000 agencies and office buildings around the country as a first order of business for a new president. However, after the first six months of Trump being in office, his image was noticeably missing from all of these government buildings and was seen to be a show of disrespect for the president since it wasn't a priority to those responsible for completing this task. It came back to the fact that it was of such a little importance that the portrait hadn't even been sent to the GPO for printing, according to The Hill. However, now another four months after this was brought to attention, it's finally been released and Trump supporters are noticing a big difference in his portrait compared to Obama's. GPO is standing by to reproduce copies of the president and the vice president's photos for official use in federal facilities, and will do so as soon as the official photo files are provided to us said GPO spokesman Gary Somerset. This lag in action is among the initial differences in the official portrait compared to Obama who was so eager to get his image on walls across the country that he actually had his photo taken a week before his inauguration and released them just a week after he was sworn into office. President Barack Obama had his official photo taken a week before his inauguration, and the new portraits were released just weeks later. When he was re-elected, a new presidential photo was taken and posted around the country, The Hill reported. Those portraits were taken down at noon on the day of Trump's inauguration, and since then frames at federal offices around the country have remained empty. The lag is just one indicator of the White House's casual pace on ramping up the functions of a new administration. Now we're seeing this long-awaited image that has finally been printed and officially released by the White House, nearly one year into his presidency. Both President Trump's and Vice President Pence's photos were revealed together. The two are smiling in their photos, captured in front of an American flag, with Trump wearing a blue tie and Pence in a red one, Yahoo reported. White House photographers Sheila Craighead and Miles Cullen made the photos of Trump and Pence, respectively. The photos are traditionally hung in government buildings across the country and the U.S. embassies worldwide. The release comes more than nine months after the pair was sworn in, during which time the spaces were occupied by empty picture frames. Trump sat for his official portrait in January, according to the White House schedule. The White House is not explaining the delay in a release. However, in a side-by-side -side look at Trump's picture next to Obama's the character difference and presidency purpose and clear in their presence. Trump looks happy and confident, he's smiling big enough to show his teeth and is happy for the honor to lead this nation back to greatness. Obama, on the other hand, looks intense and like a man on a mission with ulterior motives. There's negativity in his eyes like he's hiding something and after his first term in office, when this photo was taken. It became clear that he was on a path of destruction. In Obama's second official portrait he's smiling but it looks fake and forced. The differences between these two presidents is clear and their portraits really paint the picture of that. These are our observations, of course, but their individual actions coincide with their demeanor in the portraits. As the saying goes, pictures speak 1,000 words and that certainly seems to be the case in these images that will forever be a part of our nation's history along with another one that many Americans wish we could erase from the White House walls. Since Hillary Clinton's picture has to be in the People's House as a former First Lady, some incredible patriots took advantage of its prominent spot on the wall. Loud and proud Trump supporters, Kid Rock, Ted Nugent and Sarah Palin were invited to spend some much-deserved time at the White House after having campaigned hard for him. Those supportive efforts haven't ceased since he was sworn into office and now the much-anticipated gathering finally happened today, to deplorable's delight. The day was marked by a number of photographs, but none quite as notable as these three in front of Hillary Clinton's portrait. Liberal media squawk Keith Oberman, 
who always chimes in with hate for every picture taken in the White House since Trump has been there, referred to the three supposing in front of Hillary as trailer park trash. That's funny coming from a guy who had nothing but praise for the Obamas and the debaucherous company they invited into the White House. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments, comments.